Hi, my name is Jocelyn Hernandez and I'm a Senior Epidemiology Specialist with the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. And today, I am here to talk to you about the 2019 novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. A novel or new coronavirus is one that has not been previously identified or seen in humans before. The virus that causes COVID-19 is different from the coronaviruses that commonly circulate among humans, causing a mild illness like the common cold. COVID-19 was first identified in Wuhan, China in late 2019. And since then, it has spread globally, including in the United States. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between people that are in close contact within about six feet and or through droplets that are produced with an infected person coughs or sneezes. People are thought to be most contagious when they are the sickest. Current symptoms reported in patients with COVID-19 include a mild to severe respiratory illness with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing that starts tw 2 to 14 days after exposure. Early studies have shown that some people are at a higher risk of having a stronger illness than others. These include older patients and people with chronic medical conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease. There is currently no vaccine to prevent COVID-19 and the best way to protect yourself against the virus is to avoid being exposed to the virus. You can do this by following everyday preventive measures to avoid being exposed to a respiratory illness. This include avoid being around people who are sick, staying home if you are sick, Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Using a tissue when you cough or sneeze, and then throwing that tissue in the trash. Also cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched objects or surfaces with common household cleaners and wipes. And also washing your hands often with water and soap for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom before eating, and after coughing or sneezing. If you have a mild illness, we encourage you to stay home and please contact your healthcare provider for additional guidance. Patients with severe illness, like difficulty breathing, should seek medical attention immediately. Older patients that have underlying conditions or are immunocompromised are encouraged to call their medical providers early in the onset of even a mild illness. This is an emerging and rapidly evolving situation. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, in collaboration with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and our local partners, will continue to provide up-to-date information as it becomes available. Please visit our website for updated information. If you have any concerns regarding COVID-19, please contact your health care provider. Thank you for your time and have a great day.